So they had a 37, I am a 36 and a half. Hello. Golly. I've done a smoky eye. You're probably wondering why. Um, because I am going to interview Julian Clary on stage at the Barbican tonight. I'm wearing an outfit you've seen me in so many times, but I absolutely love it. Um, if I come into the bedroom, gosh, all this mess. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse the bed. Um, this is it. The skirt's by Clive. Um, and I just love it. I love it. I've worn it so many times. Excuse the bed. Um, because it just suits an occasion like this where I can wear a nice thick, this is a lovely, I'm worried about my breasts almost resting on my belt. Have they dropped or am I wearing this higher? Mm, I don't know. Anyway, um, it's nice when it's getting cooler in the nights. I don't want to go sleeveless and it's smart and quite glamorous. Gosh, what a night this is going to be. Hopefully it's going to be a good night. I do get very nervous. I don't want to... The thing is, I don't want to let him down. I don't mind letting myself down. I let myself down all the time. But he could ask anyone to do this for him. And he's asked me. So, um, you know, I want to do a good job. And it's all about his book, The Lick of Love. Get hold of a copy if you can. This is the book. This is Matilda. Matilda always knows when I'm going to go out without her and I hate it. I would have taken her in her pram and brought her on stage but I didn't want to leave her in the dressing room on her own um, because she'll get fractious. Well, not fractious. She doesn't get fractious anymore. Do you, Matilda? You're happier being at home, aren't you? Yes, you'll be a good girl until I come back. So we're travelling to the Barbican and um, this is, if you don't know London, this is like we're going right into the city of London, old London. Traffic's not so bad actually um, and it's a lovely time of night. I love this time of night when it's quite warm and there's going to be a sunset. And also I love all the architecture, so we're in Old Street at the moment. at the Barbican, I never know where I am. This is Chris. Chris, are you Hi. are you company manager? Tour yeah, manager. Let's call me that. Why not? He's important. <laughs> He's very I don't important. Know about that. I'm, I'm trying to work out the lights at the moment. <laughs> trying to make it a bit more ambient in here. Thank you. It's all right. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is neither Julian nor I play, but it's nice to have a piano. Oh, look at this. Oh. Look at this dressing room, everybody. I never had a dressing room like this ever in the whole of my life. 
Wow. This is, oh my goodness. So is this, are these the dressing rooms for the main theatre or the hall? I, is Just the hall the, different? Yeah, it's different because they've got the, they've got the theatre over there where they're doing Anything Goes at the moment. Like the main of course, yeah. of course. Just look at this, everyone. I have never in my life played a theatre this size. And these are called the Barbican Halls. Wow. Oh. Oh. That's coming next. <laughs> Be funny if that was on whilst we were on stage. Uh, oh my goodness. What a beautiful, beautiful auditorium. Stunning. This is stunning. And this is where we are going to be seated. Here. Yeah. How did that go? Oh, hang on, you're buzzy. There we go. How did that go? It was lovely, and uh, you were a very fine interviewer, and um, there was only one complaint, which is when you asked me a question and then we're looking down at the as if my answer was of no great interest. I had to use um, I had to use an iPad. I'm not okay with the iPad, so I was trying to think ahead. Totally distracted. Didn't hear your answer. Worst thing a presenter can do is not. I know. I'm surprised a woman of your Age. maturity and experience. Like, I've lost my show. <laughs> I'm distracted easily, but it did go well, and we love the Barbican, don't we? We love the Barbican. Once you find your dressing room. Yeah. Yes. Um, that's a. I will look. I have a shot of Albert. Oh yes, Albert was so good. This is Kirsty. <laughs> this is Hannah Al Aston, these two. And this is Albert who came on stage and walked across the floor. Or half of it. Well done. Well done. Oh there he's he got is. His legs across. He hasn't had a wee since five o'clock. So we're just going back. We're just returning. I think it went very well. It seemed to go well. Um, I really enjoyed it, that's the main thing. And now I'll return home and see if Matilda has peed on the floor a lot. Hopefully she hasn't. And we're still in the Barbican. How this driver knows how to drive, where to drive. It is like a maze, this place. Um, and I've got my flowers here with me. Oh, I'm gonna have a peanut butter sandwich when I get back. We're at uh, Baker Street, we're on Baker Street, and Matilda and I are going over, it's a lovely sunny day actually, we're going to go over to the Italian Gardens in Hyde Park to meet two of Matilda's friends, Ziggy and her cousin Flora, and we're going on a 274 Matilda. That is the controversial mound at um, Marble Arch. So look, you can see it better from here.
Hello everybody, do you know I don't even remember what day it is, I think it is Thursday or it could be Wednesday. Um, before I put my lipstick on, this was sent to me by Paula's Choice, gifted, and they sent it to me weeks ago before it actually came on the market. I think they were trying to subliminally tell me something um, and it worked. This is um, a lip booster that has hyaluronic acid and peptides in and they claim if you use this regularly it has an anti-aging quality to your lips. Now my lips are the lips of a 66 year old, they are feathered, I wear a lot of bright red lipstick, I have to be very very careful. I will tell you now, this now is on the market, I've been using it for a couple of weeks I'll leave a link below to it. You know I use a lot of Paula's Choice. They gift me a lot of stuff because they've supported me really since I started YouTube. I will leave the link below. My honest opinion, um, my lips are far smoother. The fine lines haven't gone yet, but I've only been using it for two weeks. But the lips certainly feel less dried out and haggard, if you get my meaning. Anyway. So I'll leave a link below. That's the new kid on the block. So I am going to Selfridges to have a look at boots. I usually go to Liberty, but I haven't got much time. So I thought I'll go to Selfridges. Selfridges is like my corner shop, to be quite honest. Um, and I need to refresh my boots. I know this is crazy. We all probably have so many pairs of boots. I bet in your wardrobe, you have loads of boots going back years. I try and keep all my shoes in good nick. I take them regularly to the cobblers. I get them healed. I can't bear down at heels, shoes, boots or whatever. Having said that, I've dragged my, the boots that I do own out to show you and they honestly, all of them need a damn good polish, but I just want to show you what I have, which is a fair collection. It's not extensive, but it isn't what I want. And I want something in between what I've already got. So you will have seen me in these boots if you've been following me wherever, off, off YouTube, in life, whatever, you would have seen me in these boots. My favourite, these are what I was wearing um, last week, I think, in the vlog, I think last week, are my Russell and Bromley knee-high boots. Quite a substantial heel. Gosh, you see, this is scuffed. Um, and I love them and they're great with skirts on the knee, and they're great with midi skirts, you know, long straight uh, midi skirts, and I love them. And I've had them, they've got the zip all the way up the side, I've had them for, gosh, I don't know, probably about six years. Um, I also have, and you will have seen these on the vlog, everyone I know has a pair of these, uh, they are your street cred boots. I wear them for walking the dog. I wear them with my jeans and they are they, Lots of people wear them with skirts. I hate wearing them with skirts. I don't like that look at all um, But I, they are they serve a purpose very hard wearing and these are actually from the office high street brand Lasted me a long time. I also have a pair of Chelsea boots Which if I'm wearing drain pipe jeans, I quite like but I probably haven't worn those for about two years. I have a pair of Repetto. Now this is the Repetto, Repetto the ballet pumps. The original ballet pumps were created for Bridget Bardot. Um, and Repetto is such a comfy brand that they say you can dance in any of their shoes. I've got some of their Repetto platform sandals, which I love, that I cherish. These I got in Liberty many, many years ago. They're navy blue, you probably can't, I love the color of them. They have um, a little strap that goes around. These heels need cleaning, I'm so sorry. I love these, I wear these also. If you look at my home page of my YouTube channel, when I'm um, walking Matilda through a park with a blue cape, I'm wearing these. Good old sturdy repettos. The boots I have worn to death and the boots that I want to find for this winter is a cross between my Russell and Harty and don't flinch this boot that I got in New York 15 years ago. Look how worn they are. 
I have worn these to death. They are so comfy. They are, I know they look very chunky, but they are so flattering. I have worn these with skirts, jeans, dungarees. They are just, they are literally the best boots I've ever owned. And I cannot find them anywhere. And I can't wear those, they are absolutely worn out. Um, they've been healed so many times, they've actually been resold so many times. So I'm looking for a cross between that and that. I'd love a nice tight into the calf boot with a thin pencil stiletto. Jimmy Choo do them, Prada do them, and I can't afford that. So I'm going to go into Selfridges and see what I can find. And I'm going to take you with me. We have met before, haven't we? We have. We met in the, on our morning walk. And before, walked, was it before lockdown? No, it was actually the first lockdown. And it was early in the morning and I tried to keep telling you to give trying to give you my Instagram poor thing and I didn't have a card on me and you were laughing and I said she's never gonna get this she's never gonna now we bump into each other and you I mean you are so stunning there's a woman that I always try to emulate called Greece yes. what's her name Greece, uh, Genem. Greece yes, Genem. and you Lebanese. are the oh, you, yes. you Lebanese you are the epitome but you are a model I am do you yes. mind if I do this sorry no, no. so you can see she is a model. Can I ask what eyeshadow are you wearing? Because it is stunning. It's the new palette by MAC. And it's all, by MAC? Yes. And it's absolutely beautiful. The cover has flowers on it. And it's limited edition. And I just, I just love the makeup. And it's just all these sort of slightly sparkly, sparkly colors. You are Maybe. so beautiful. You are Thank so you. beautiful. And now, now that. I actually have her card so now we'll be able to do coffee that i hope so i hope so i can't wait i've been following joe for yongs and she doesn't pay attention to me so you better pay attention to me now joe. <laughs> i'm going to pay attention we're going to do coffee very very soon oh thank you i won't show everyone your car these but they are a 37 I need a 36 and a half have a look though they are fantastic so they had a 37 I am a 36 and a half I've wedged my trotters into a 36 um, what I'm going to try and do now is this is gripping stuff isn't it this is why I'm terrier like when I see something I want I'm going to call the Mayfair branch of Stella McCartney where I got my blue coat last winter you probably remember and see if they have a pair but I have a feeling they're very popular this winter I have a feeling they're probably sold out everywhere which is so annoying but I will persist so you won't believe what's happened I've just got home and Stella McCartney in Mayfair have called they have got the boots 
I have the only remaining pear. Um, sorry, you can just hear Matilda eating her dinner. So I am now going to hot foot it, run to Mayfair and pick them up. Have you ever met anyone more shallow than me? I am really excited because I've got new boots. I'm even more excited in that I'm, I've got the only pair left. Um, and in my next vlog, I shall be wearing them just for you. I'm going to finish the vlog here. How do my lips look? They truly feel moisturised. And I haven't reapplied it since um, before I went off shopping. So I do think it works. I mean, have, check it out. There's a link below. See what you think. Um, I think it actually is more effective than lip gloss. I think it is a treatment, actually, for the older lips. Um, and that's it. Um, leave a message. Leave a comment. I will answer. Gosh, that man's back on the roof. Do you remember when I lived on the very top floor flat, I used to watch a man every night. He's now out on his roof. And the satellite dish is actually masking his face. So I can't see what he looks like even now. I'm off to get the boots. Um, and yeah, leave a comment, subscribe. How much longer is it gonna get me to get to, when I get to 30,000, I will do another live YouTube Q and A. I mean, gosh, that's hardly a treat for any of you, is it? But it seems like years ago when I got to 20,000, I'm just stuck on 20, I think, it, am I stuck on 27 or 28? I can't take my eyes off the man on the roof. I can now see his face. I'm off to get boots. I will see you it is not midweek, next Sunday. Have a great week. Goodbye. I'm walking, yeah, the